Saturday morning. It's about 6 a.m. Time for some secret pond action. I can't blow this spot up any more than I already am, so I can't show you the entrance, but I'll show you the path leading back, and, uh, you know, if you know, then you know. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. All right, we start our slow journey back to the water. It's really only 100 yards, maybe 120, something like that. But, uh, you know, this is a pretty primitive grass path. And I gotta say, this time of year when everything's grown up like this, being out here alone, it's a little creepy. <laughs> but absolutely worth it. Now, this spot up here, I'm going to have to drop my poles. I uh, would normally be nice and quiet, but out here in the morning, they're 100% for sure are bears in this area. So... <laughs> Let me go ahead and keep making lots of noise. Be safe. Be smart. Alright. Onward slow. There we go. Now if you guys are picking up where this is at, if you recognize this trail well you know now you can get a kayak through here you can get inflatables back here I've even seen some guys get uh, little John boats on wheels back here you gotta flip them on their side to pass through that spot back there but I mean if you got two guys that's nothing crazy that's nothing crazy at all so like I said, now you know. <laughs> A big part of the fishing community in this area doesn't even know this pond exists. And then another big portion of the people that know it's back here don't know it has fish in it. Which is perfect for us. That means it doesn't get Hardly any traffic at all. I'm ready to get froggy. I'm already seeing fry busting all over the place. Get my second camera set up. There we go. Now, I was actually going to fish this from the bank right here before we got rolling, but I think I'm just going to get moving. The sun's coming up pretty quick. So we want to go hit that point and stuff before it gets up too high. And we're going to work this shoreline first because it just looks great. I don't know why that just happened. Dude. Well, that can't be allowed to happen anymore. I'm using 30 pound test. I don't know why my line would break. 
unless I nicked it real bad on something and didn't realize it. But that cannot be allowed to happen. I don't know what that was about. I hope my line's not bad. I've been using the same line on here for a hot minute. And you know, I have never broken a frog off before, uh, before this last month, and all of a sudden I've broken off three. Four, actually. And two were in good sized fish, which sucks for a couple different reasons. A, the obvious, missed the fish, you know, but B, man, I don't know if that fish got it out and it's swimming around with a big old frog in its face, which is really not cool. I do my absolute best to respect the fish and treat them as well as I can, which sounds funny seeing as I'm putting big hooks in their face, but uh, I, I still do my best to to respect them and you know try to be as gentle with them as possible once I get them in um, and you know letting one swim around with a some big old frog hooks in it is not that's not how, how we do things you know that was a, a rookie mistake on my part Always check your hooks, you always retie, you know, when you come back out. Respool if you have doubts, and I guess I just got lazy after last trip, so. Honestly, I deserve to miss that first fish. I'm glad that she got away without the frog in her. She broke it off and got away. <laughs> Somebody just hit the surface right there. Did I hit prematurely? Damn it. That was a that was a pretty good kick in the ass there. I'm not feeling great now. I feel like Nope, they're just missing it. That was another one. switch to black. Try and give them a little more silhouette to work with. They're hitting, but they ain't getting. Got her. Got her. There we go. 
Finally. Oh, she's not that big. Finally. Damn. Took long enough. Right before we oh, hey. Good gravy. Yeah, you were way up tucked up in there. Nothing to strike home about, but we got us fish before we gotta go, so that's cool. Alright. Well, we got one in the boat. <laughs>